So I, I have been very privileged in my career. I go to a lot of events where we discuss our future, we discuss solutions. But alas, most times I'm in those is we're talking to ourselves. We're not talking to concerned citizens. And I mean, I'm both a father and a grandfather. Now the reason I'm passionate about this is I actually want the world to be a better place for my grandchildren. And to do that, our industry not only needs to change, but it needs to do it with a transparency and an integrity that it starts to communicate with concerned citizens. And we're not good at that. And it's very rare we bring concerned society onto our farms and we actually show the solutions. And we really need to ramp up our effort on that and that society sees farming being dynamic, not just as it's perceived as being the problem, but actually taking a spade out and digging up soil and seeing the earthworms, seeing the carbon in those soils and actually seeing that without soils, you have nothing. You, have, you can't have plant-based agriculture. You can't have animal-based agriculture. And that you don't actually re realize that the health of that soil relies very heavily on the biology coming from a ruminant defecating in that soil, inoculating that soil with the biology. And it is the biology in the soil that is the health. It is the biology in the soil that drives the earthworm populations. So for us, we need to look at cir cir circularity of agriculture, but actually bring it to concerned society. Let them see it. Let them actually get clay under their fingernails and you know, look at earthworms and then understand around that. And our communication needs to get round. We need to broach how do we get over the soundbite mentality of, of communication and the soundbite mentality of actually policy making. Policy making doesn't always look at the perverse consequences. And so we do need to approach that.